Peace, YouTube. You're now rocking with your boy, N. Lynch. Join me as we discuss all the hottest topics and trends. Let's talk. So, um, I want to get into this video a bit about, you know, Little Nas X and, you know, the controversy surrounding his performance last night at the uh, BET Awards. We're going to get into it, but before we do, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm glad y'all joining me, and um, I'm glad that some of my uh, subscribers from my main channel is coming over here. And if you're new to the channel, you're new to the brand, you know, welcome. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by August. I know that's a crazy goal. It's a big goal, but it's my goal. And the only way I'm going to get to my goal is if y'all continue to help brother out. And press that subscribe button. And while you're doing so, make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified every time I upload the latest and greatest. So if y'all already press subscribe and hit that like button, uh, let's talk about this. So, um, the BT Wars was last night, and you know, um, there was a lot of different, you know, performances, a lot of different awards given out. There's been a lot of talk about on the red carpet, behind the stage, after parties and everything like that. But one of the main discussions that, that's been trending on social media all day, and well, since last night, rather, was Little Nas X performance and how he, uh, you know, did the uh, French thing, the French kiss on stage with one of his male dancers. Now I seen a video earlier with Kwame Brown talking about this, which I actually um, made a video about myself, you know, doing my um, my thoughts and my reaction to what Kwame Brown had to think. This is kind of just my video piggyback on, on it and um, get just giving my initial thoughts itself. I believe that, you know, um, you do what you do. That that's cool or whatever. I uh and I, I don't know. It's just so funny. I'm not even gonna say what I was about to say. You just do. You do what you do. But you don't have to do it like on TV and you know on a, a grand scale where you just being just too loud, too uh eccentric. Um, have you? Like all that was very unnecessary. You you, you got people, uh, men groping on him on the bottom. You know you can see it on the thumbnail I got uh, now, and he's kissing on the other guy, the other dude like he like uh, caressing his, um his backside, or well, both of them are, like they caressing his backside, but the other man like he like kissing on his nipples, his chest. Like this is crazy, and like B T Wars is supposed to be a family show, and and that's really my issue. That's really my my gripe. The the whole. My whole point of this rant, this video, is that that's supposed to be a family show, and look what you're displaying to our children. Like, come on, like, you got to do better. I understand that, you know, this is a time where people are talking about being free or expressing themselves, and, you know, uh, they're tired of being, you know, uh, oppressed, of, of being, uh, meaning, you know, being oppressed uh, mentally. And hot and who they are. Like, if you want to be free and do what you do. But they're still supposed to be, have some type of dignity, some type of respect. And this is what I'm not getting with this this new generation. This is what I'm not getting with these, these new, like, liberation movements. Like, they're fighting for equality. They're fighting for, you know, um, you know, uh, non-prejudice and all that stuff against them. Which is cool, which is good, and which they have every right to. And for all that, I agree and I totally 100% um, support. But at the same time, it's like they have a get out of jail free card. What I mean by that is they're able to do certain things and say certain things and get away with it because on the simple fact that they might be in a, in a particular demographics, in a particular group. And us people, 
regular people, uh, I'm not going to say regular people, but us people who's not in that group, we're not supposed to say anything because then now we're, uh, you know, we're, we're, um, we're hating, you know, we're, we're, we're harassing them. We're, we're bullying, you know, um, but yet they can call us the B words, the N words, do all the cursing. They, they, they can do all this whole other stuff to us. Be loud and wearing bunches. Like, do all this extra stuff. Be real extra. Be loud in the mall, in public. Do everything. But when it's someone else, when it's someone of traditional values, then we looked at, it's frowned upon. And this this is what I'm not getting. It's like, it, it's, there's a double standard. There's not, that's not equality. This, be honest with you, that's, super, that's superiority. Be honest with you. Like, when you think about these things... There's no balance. There's not like no justice system where, where you know, the uh, the scale is even. It's one side way up and another side way down. And if a lot of y'all listening, if y'all was honest with yourselves and really just think, y'all would see the same thing. Even if you were on the other side, you would admit that. Like, yeah, well, yeah, I, I can dig it. You do got some points. Cause, I mean, because, I mean, to be fair, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not about me. It's not about me on here crying or whatever. Like I said, it's about the children. Like, our children are most important because our children are our future. And it's, that sounds so corny. And it, like, growing up, I used to hear that stuff and I used to hear older people saying that. But me being a grown man now and me having children of my own, I think about a lot of these things. I, I look at the world so differently from a point of view from what I did growing up. I, I, I was, I had a perspective of the world when I was a kid. I had a different perspective as a teenager. I had another perspective in my 20s. I had another perspective in my late 20s. I had another perspective in my early 30s. And now that I'm 37, um, my view has changed again. And me having three daughters and one being a teenager, and is in my middle child, shoot, I'm not even going to say, just um, separate them, all of them. All of them being highly uh, influenced, what they see on TV and uh, on the radio, on the internet and everything. Like, my, my girls, they're they're very smart and intelligent, but they're, they're real, you know how kids are. They Especially when they start growing up. Like, my, 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 my teenager, my 13-year-old, she was one way. At six and seven and seven and eight and nine, now she's another way at thirteen because now she's got friends and starting to hang out more and everything, and they start to listen to different music than she did when she was growing up. So that's what I'm saying. Like that, they're 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 influenced. She's starting to use different phrases, and in doing so, her younger sisters is looking at her and trying to uh, imitate her. So now they're starting to trying to. Do the same thing and say the same same thing and starting to listen to the same songs and all that. Like, don't you see where I'm going with this? Like, so that's all I'm saying. Like, we we got to do better than that. And um, you know, uh, BET they should know better. I, I I should do a video about that in itself about just BET and um, you know, they foolery. But let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below. Let me know if y'all think I'm tripping or not. Um, I'd like to hear y'all opinions and, uh, we can go from there and we can build in the comment section. Like I said, as long as we're respectful, I mean, respect each other. You respect me. I respect you. You do it good. And, um, we just build, we can either agree or we can agree to disagree. So until then, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.